volunteers for the Tear God Salt for the Salt Throne and Gas the Leaf Tribe. Yeah, I sent a letter to the commissioner before making it clear I think it's wrong to give someone like Mr. Bernier the platform to spread hateful and divisive messages. I think it's absolutely wrong. As for Mr. Bernier, uh, I look forward to holding him to account uh, publicly for his intolerant views, and I certainly hope all other leaders will do the same. Just, just cue the fucking music. How the fuck am I supposed to open this? Seriously? Really? What, what, what am I supposed to say? Hear the song of Slanesh. Hear this courage and despair. How do I, how do I expand on a story this perfect? What what am I supposed to do? It's amazing that it falls so tightly on the heels of Maxime Bernier being accepted into the debates. And you can see Justin Trudeau in that clip that he's actually happy to have Maxime Bernier there. Not because he thinks he's going to split the vote, but because he thinks it will take some of the heat off of him. He'll spend less time trying to defend his record at the podium if Maxime Bernier is there, parrying and dodging baseless accusations of racism and xenophobia. And then this. <laughs> and Jagmeet Singh has jumped on it. Uh, I'm certain he thinks he can steal some liberal votes for this. But this debate is going to be the worst beatdown Justin Trudeau has experienced since Canadian hero and friend star Matthew Perry beat him up in grade school. <laughs> and if you're not familiar, this is a true story. Matthew Perry beat up Justin Trudeau when they were kids. Here's to you, Matthew. Now, Max handled this perfectly in my opinion he went with what i call the high road troll i'm not going to accuse justin trudeau of being a racist but he's the master of identity politics and the libs just spent months accusing everyone of being white supremacists he definitely is the biggest hypocrite in the country and this tweet just makes me so happy it makes me proud to be a PPC supporter. Like, I was already proud to be a PPC supporter, but I'm prouder now for that tweet. Good job. Good job, Max. Now, I've had some thoughts about this, that we don't see a lot of the outrage that you see from people on the left against 10-year-old tweets and 20-year-old sexual assault allegations when it's their own. And, uh, Brian Lilly, columnist for the Toronto Sun, has a similar opinion here. The answers that Justin Trudeau gave to questions about his appearance in blackface would not be acceptable to Trudeau if any other candidate was saying those words. And you can see it. It's true. Uh, blackface versus brownface. Trudeau also admitted to wearing blackface makeup when he was in high school, performing the song Deo. You know, come Mr. Tally Man, Tally Me Banana, Beetlejuice, that one. And yet, uh, I, I don't think we're going to see the level of outrage from the left. And it's not that I feel the outrage, it's that they're supposed to, uh, based on what they claim. But I don't think it's going to happen. And before I forget, let's take a good look at this picture. I know it's very dark and in black and white, but look closely. Look at the way he's gripping up on this woman. This is Joe Biden levels of creepy. And the accusation from the reporter from 18 years ago of sexual assault or sexual inappropriateness at least. And his response is, 
women experience things differently. Look at this picture and look at the way that he handled 19-year-old Canadian sports hero Bianca Andreescu. This is what he's like. Biden levels of creepy, man. Like, Jesus, fuck. Oh. <laughs> this is insane. I honestly don't think we'll hear much outrage from the left in general, and more specifically Trudeau supporters about this. I don't think they'll call him racist or try to cancel him the way they would any other character, uh, namely any conservative. I think they'll actually jump through hoops and bend over backwards trying to excuse the behavior, or some even go so far as justify it. It wouldn't surprise me. And we'll hear from people that this is rules for thee but not for me and it's okay when we do it and that it lacks logical consistency. But it only lacks logical consistency when you think about it like a principle. But authoritarianism doesn't require principles or logical consistency. It just requires obedience. So when we stop thinking about it like principles and start thinking about it like an array of weapons, it suddenly becomes perfectly logically consistent that these are an array of weapons to be used against their enemies. Not for having different opinions or different principles and values, or even for openly disagreeing, but for disobeying. Relevant links to shit I said in the description? Maybe. I'm a retweet. Like, subscribe, or don't. It's a free country. At least it used to be. They would silence us?